Hello everybody. Um, time for some uh, metal art. Uh, gonna try to use up a couple old saw blades. Um, uh, saw this idea on the old internet. I uh, thought it would be a pretty cool use of these saw blades. So um, I've got a couple of the big 14 inch steel demons I use on my chop saw. Um, they're good for about well, they're good until you abuse them. Um, but I normally probably get a thousand cuts out of these. Uh, they're about 60 bucks a piece off the old Amazonian. Uh, they're, they're really, really good. I, I like Diablo uh, products. Um, I use them in all my skill saws. They're, it's a cheap blade. It, it's, it's, I don't care how much money you spend on blades. Um, if you abuse it, if it gets too hot, it's not going to work. Um, but in my line of work, it's a matter of getting in, getting out, getting something done. Uh, believe it or not, um, as far as, you know, things like saw blades and welding tips and, you know, plasma tips, uh, all that stuff is a write-off. So um, the, way, the way this great government sets everything up for welders and fabricators is uh, um, it's nice to have something last a long time. It really, really, truly is. But uh, if you're in the business of, of turning over money and making money and reporting it legally, um, consumables are just part of the deal. Uh, it's a great spot to, you know, you save all your receipts and, and everything goes in a, into the job. And it's also been into the job, too. Uh, most, most people, when they fabricate something, will give a quote, and then there's a 10% tack on in that quote. Um, that's in the quote, of course that basically says, this is for consumables. This is what I'm gonna burn up, this is what I'm gonna use, this is the abuse I'm gonna take, this is the fact that every you know 20 jobs or so, I'm gonna to have to need a new welder or new leads or, or something or a new you know, stinger. Um, it's, it's part of the business. Um, so anyway, consumables, I go with A, what works, uh, B, what's not really, really expensive because I'm not gonna treat it the way it needs to be treated. Um, if you're a fine woodworker or something like that, a little different, um, you know, if you're making, you know, cutting boards and, and, and really nice stuff like that, uh, you know, most of that's all gifts and, and that type of thing. Anyway, you're going to want, you know, a really nice blade that lasts a long time. Uh, in the steel industry, um, you're going to be in a hurry or you're going to have one of your guys cut too quick or you're going to have, you know, yourself cut too quick. Or you're going to cut something that's harder than you thought. And uh, basically, you're going to cut some part that's already been welded. So it's already been heated. It's already been, you know, cured or however you want to call it. Uh, anyway, um, abuse is going to happen, especially a saw blade. So we're going to burn some up and do something cool with them. That's, that's the plan today. All right. So this is kind of the idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it out of those saw blades right there. I'm going to use this old, old skill saw blade. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the, the Vigeo on the spider that I did, but that was all out of saw blades. Um, these were going to be a giant spider at some point, but um, I want to try this. I want to try this, you know, try to make some type of a, a fish, give them real sharp teeth, give them a little bit of character, let them hang down from something. Uh, I think it's going to be simple. I think it's going to be easy. I think it's going to be really cool also. So anyway, come join me on this journey of Martin's Metal Art. All right, as you can see, you know, this is going to be the main body. These are going to be kind of the wings, the, the sails, I don't know what you could. But anyway, I'm going to cut one out of this and then take this, put it on the other one because I need two of these, essentially. So that is the plan. And where these are going to seat, you know, it's going to be somewhere around here. I will then cut that out. You know, on the top and bottom of this one. Uh, these are going to be these wacko teeth that are kind of going to go in here like this. So after I cut this, I'll trace that and then trace the other side. Um, that's kind of the plan. Uh, I'm totally winging this. I uh, don't have any plans. Just uh, using my God-given artistic uh, abilities. Uh, somebody asked what kind of plasma cutter. I don't tell people enough. Uh, thermodynamic Cutmaster 40. Um, this is not the best tip in the world. Uh, I love this machine. Um, 
lots of hours of running it. Uh, it does all the stuff at Bannon Dunes. Um, I did uh, four or five orders this week to ship up there. Um, so anyway, it's a nice little machine. You can tell by the amount of scrap I got laying around. I've been fairly busy. Um, but let's do some artwork. That's going to win something like that. This one. Wow. Uh, might have to do a little work there. These are going to be just little uh, fins on each side. Um, this is kind of going to be the uh, nice little fluffy tail. I'll stick those out like that. Um, on each side, uh, I need a couple eyes, and there's teeth around here someplace. Anyway, I'll find the teeth. Uh, let's weld this thing up. Should look pretty cool. All right, so uh, really quick, let's talk about uh, uh, something I see all over YouTube uh, constantly. Um, I follow some great channels. I really love getting to know these people, their families. Uh, they do some fantastic work. I look forward to, uh, uh, what did it come out, Sunday and during the week, I, you know, they, they put out content and they get lots of viewers and, and they put out great content. Um, but a lot of them are fabricators. Uh, so I'm going to compare uh, a couple of them. Uh, one is a kid out of Oklahoma, Austin Ross. Um, he is a pipe welder. He is a welder. All right. Um, learn something new every day, Austin Ross. Um, so if you watch Austin's videos, you will see, I mean, I think he's 32 or something like that. He is bundled up. He has got the right protection on. He's obviously worked for somebody else that told him, hey, you need to do this. Um, he's fair skinned. He's smart because he wears a shirt and gloves and a good face covering. Um, and then I watch some other guys. I just absolutely love Fab Rats. If you guys ever watch Fab Rats, uh, Paul and his family uh, just do some incredible things, mainly with with automobiles but he's constantly making something he's constantly welding um he stays bundled up some of the times um 
my, my point is, is that it's one thing when you're 40. Uh, it's one thing when you're 20, especially. And when you're 30, you think you're bulletproof. Um, when you get to be 58, going on 59, and you've been welding a long time, you realize that, that your skin gets thinner and thinner, and the UV rays that this, these welders kick out, um, everybody knows, you know, not to burn your eyes. I mean, you know, I mean, that basically hurts. You go to sleep, you feel like sandpaper underneath your eyeballs. Uh, it happens. Uh, everybody also knows that, that, you know, you'll get sunburned, you know, welding burn or whatever you want to call it. You'll get it in places that, that you know, like, you know, like your crocs or your elbows or something like that. And, and then you're dealing with that type of thing. Um, but the more abuse you give your body, especially your skin, the largest organ in your in the body is the skin. The more abuse you give it, um, it's going to get thin anyway. I mean, I bleed, you know, constantly now. Um, and if I had stayed covered up, I probably wouldn't bleed as bad. I've been pretty good, been pretty good about it. Um, but I watch these guys all the time and, and they think, oh, it's no big deal. You know, it, it, it's, you're not tough if you just weld with gloves and a t-shirt. That does not make you tough. Um, that makes you stupid. Um, my definition of tough is being able to do something wrong, admit that you did it wrong, and apologize to whoever you did it to. That to me is tough. Um, you show me people that, that A, don't admit they're wrong, and B, don't apo never apologize. That is a sign of weakness in my eyes. Um, so anyway, and this comes from a guy that rodeoed for 35 years. Um, I've seen tough. I've seen guys, bull riders break their leg. They need a spur to ride with. They put a cast and they mount the spur on the cast. Um, I've fought bulls with cracked ribs, broken foot, dislocated elbow, cuts, uh, because that's how I made a living. I mean, if I didn't get out there, I didn't get paid. So a um, little bit different. Um, but if I had the opportunity to put on safety gear, I did it. Um, and, and I learned from some really good welders that, that it's not worth getting burnt over because it, it might not bother you. It might look, look at me, I'm tough. I mean, welding hurts. I, I have no doubt about that. Welding hurts. Um, but be smart and look at your future. And if your future means that you want to breathe, then put a mask on. Um, if you're using the plasma cutter, if you're using a cutting torch, uh, if you're you know working on something that's been painted or, or anything like that, if you're sanding, um, you know, anytime you blow your nose and black stuff comes out, uh, that's not good. So my advice 100% is to, you know, do the things that, that that it doesn't come natural to your body. Your body's not used to really loud noises. Put some earplugs in. Um, your body's not used to breathing all this stuff. You know, wear a mask. Um, it takes five seconds. Um, your body's not used to the intense brightness of a, of a MIG welder or a stick welder or a TIG welder. Um, go out and lay out in the sun for an hour, you know, and, and feel what your body feels like. Go ahead and weld naked for an hour and see what your body feels like. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, the UV rays that that, that that arc kicks out is, is very, very, very intense. It's not made. There's no big ozone layer that protects you. Um, it's going to catch up with you. You're going to get something that grows where it's not supposed to grow. Your skin is going to get thinner. Um, you're going to pay for it in the long run. And I've seen people die of skin cancer and holy smokes it is not the way to go and it's not worth it and it's not saying that you're not tough if you don't wear you know gloves and, and sleeves but uh be smart guys i mean <laughs> you know you're teaching people how to do all sorts of different things bundle up when you do it i mean take that responsibility that you have as a teacher you know if you're on youtube uh you're a teacher and if you're showing somebody how to do something, you're a teacher. So take that responsibility of being a teacher and also include the safety stuff. I, I just, you know, that's my two cents for what it's worth. Um, and, you know, and you look at the guys that do this every day, do it for a living, they're bundled up. 
they are bundled up. So anyway, big shout out to Austin Ross. He does it right. And hopefully I do it better than, uh, than a lot of other guys. But not to say those other guys, I still love their channels. But I just wish every time I see them welding with, you know, underneath a car with, with no, you know, just a, a welding helmet on and small gloves, I just, you know, I think, dude, at some point in your life, you're going to get old. Hopefully. Knock on wood. All right. That's my two cents. All right. Let's give this a quick weld. You know, it really doesn't look like anything until I do this. All right, uh, <laughs> this is my idea of uh, what to do with three old saw blades. So I'll give you kind of the straight on shot of it. I'm gonna hang this up, uh, dangle it down from a tree. Um, it'd be pretty cool if like, it was chasing something, you know, 
another you know another fish you know kind of going this way uh, that would look really cool um, but have fun with this this is just three saw blades uh, one of uh, on Austin Ross's channel, one of his things to do this week was to uh, kind of make do with what's laying around. Um, he built a really cool uh, water tote trailer so he doesn't burn stuff down while he's welding. Always good advice. Just take it from me. Uh, you don't want to be that guy that uh, gets his name splashed all over the paper because you were working around something that uh, was very flammable like grass or uh, and we all do it, and we all hose stuff down, and we're all very careful because we don't want to be that guy. So anyway, uh, enjoy this. This is pretty cool. Uh, the piranha, I guess we'll call it a piranha, huh? The Diablo. All right. Hanging up by one of them old redwood trees. That is the fish, Piranha, the Dablo. Thanks for watching, everybody.